Thank you, you are really, Thank man, you. blew me away it. in the social network, and I cannot believe how unbelievable you were in this movie. Congratulations on your performance. Thank you very much. You're, wow. You're Thank very you. welcome. <laughs> um, how J. Edgar Hoover, Hoover savvy were you before starting this project? Not very. Uh, I'm, I'd heard, I was actually more familiar with his uh, sort of nefarious reputation. Like, uh, um, there were stories that were sort of bounced around the family about him, you know, hating my great grandfather and like going through his trash and having agents follow him and he was convinced he was a spy, like all those kinds of things. So I was familiar with that stuff more so than I was how patriotic he was, for example, or anything like that. So when I read the script, instead of being like, I'm so surprised he did all these things, it was more like, Wow, it's true. It's interesting, you know. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you know, when Clint Eastwood comes a call in, like, yeah. no-brainer that you're going to be in the film? Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I uh, I would uh, I would have made the food on the set, and I'm not a good chef just to be part of the project. Uh, what is it about Clint, really? Uh, the man's obviously amazing. I'll give you the secret about Clint. It's everything. It's the fact that he is as cool as you think he is. He's nicer than you think he is. He's tougher than you think he is. I mean, he's just like... He's, he is an icon of a human being, and uh, they broke the mold after that guy, for sure. Yeah. When you started to work with him, like, what kind of really really impressed you about his, his way of working, I guess? The way he worked. Like, that was the most impressive thing. The fact that he stripped filmmaking of all of the noise, of all of the extraneous, like, uh, riffraff and, and crap, and just reduced it to the point where he was like, put the camera there, you guys stand there, go. Okay. Put the camera there. You guys stand there, go. No nonsense. Okay. Uh, nothing, and it just made the days fly. It was all about the work. Everybody was there to facilitate everybody getting their job done because he's ready to move on so quickly that if one person's not, you get called out. You know, you gotta, you have to be ready to move on. So everybody is just always focused. So yeah. it was a great environment. A game all the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, what kind of research did you do to find out about Clyde? Tons. Uh, to, I actually I hired a researcher because I couldn't find anything. And um, I basically just said, give me everything you can. And uh, and she did. I mean, God bless her. She was amazing. Uh, I had, I had, I mean, I had more information on Clyde than I could find on J. Edgar. Wow. And, and yeah, like a ridiculous amount of information. That's amazing. Yeah. And then you get to, of course, work with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. You Which know, doesn't suck. You know, no, it doesn't suck at all. Yeah. Uh, and once, you know, and you guys, you know, it's a tight relationship no matter what. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're working with him al almost every scene. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it, you know, what impressed you about him when you started to work with Leo? His focus, his drive, his determination, the fact that he did not get distracted for a second. And he knew the amount of work going into this that he had to put into it. And he exceeded it. I mean, he was never not focused for a single second during the day. So, yeah, it was just, like, impressive. Really? Wow. Uh, yeah. And then, you know, you have to go through this makeup process as you're aging. What was like that? What was that like for you? The first time was awesome. Yeah, just, like, great seeing the whole thing happen. And then the novelty very quickly wears off, and you just get sick of it, you know? Yeah. Like how many hours? What was the process like? Uh, you know, um, when we started, it was longer, so it was probably eight you know, eight and a half hours, and then we sort of got it down a little bit, but then, you know, we had like two weeks of it, so by the end, it's, it's very hard to sit still in a chair for eight hours straight, so you know, I'd be moving and fidgeting, and then of course it would take longer, like, I gotta go to the bathroom, just let me up, you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, 